Hello there and welcome back to Building the Boys. We now have, uh, from a company I've never built anything from before, they were contacted and asked, would you like to build this? Um, and I said, yes I would, because I thought it looked interesting. I thought you'd be interested to see it as well. And if it's a new brand, new to us, let's see what they're all about. Uh, it's from a company called Silbird, uh, and they have made this very nice brick-built owl. Now, it's a botanical owl, so he is entirely made out of flowers, which is quite unique. Um, I've not seen one like this before, but he's a botanical owl, um, and it, he's an owl made of flowers. Uh, I'm interested to see exactly how this is going to turn out. This is 1,193 pieces. Um, for full clarity, they did send this to me. I haven't paid for this. They've sent this to me for the purpose of review, but my words are that of my own. If I don't like this, I'll tell you I don't like it. If I do like it, I'll tell you I do like it. Um, but let's get this one open. Let's get this one built. Okay, so let's have a look what comes inside of this box. Uh, again, I've never built from them before, so I, I have no idea. Uh, it's a it's a very full box. This is a heavy box as well. But let's turn this one out. Whoa, okay, that's a lot. Uh, I can see we've got numbered bags. Uh, there was an envelope there that I've just dropped. So what we've got. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. Well, thank you, thank you, I've looked, that's lovely. Um, right, so we have our instructions here. Let's have a look how these look, it's a very big instruction book. Yeah, they look like our standard instructions. We come to the brick separator as well. So you can see there's four stages, one, two, three, and four. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna open them up, I'm gonna build each stage. After each stage, we'll take a look and I'll tell you what I think of it up to that point. But um, let's get this one built. So here is bag one complete. Now, you might not believe it, but this is incredibly complex. Uh, there was a lot of Technic pins have gone into this. If I show you from the bottom, a lot has gone into putting this together and it is solid because it needs to be. It's got to be solid because um, it's going to hold the entire weight of the owl. Uh, it's looking nice, the little flowers and whatnot on here. Uh, you can see at the back, got this piece here that's giving it some more support. It's looking nice, it's looking good. But as I said, this is ridiculously complex. You can see by all the um, pins there. So it's a challenge. It's a challenge, but a good challenge, you know? Um, but it's looking great. It's looking really nice. Let's move on to stage two. So here we are, stage two complete. It's looking lovely, a lot of color on this. Um, it's looking really good. There is a problem and I'll show you what it is. So you can see these two pins here. This one here, it looks like it hasn't come out of the mold properly. It's damaged. So I don't know what's gonna to clip to that later on. I'm hoping it's not gonna be that big a problem, but that is a concern that we've got a damaged piece because it, it it's not snapped. It looks like it just never came out of the mold properly, which, QC is a concern there. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's, it's going together lovely. I mean, it, it, it happens. I don't think it's going to be a big deal, but I'd rather tell you and be honest with you than, um, you know, so everything's wonderful when there were problems. And that is a problem. I don't think it's a huge problem. I think it's easily fixed. Um, and it probably wouldn't affect every one of them. It's just I've been unlucky. Um, but that's how we're looking. Um, so stage three is next. Here we are with stage three complete. You can see just how many flowers and uh, flower buds and whatnot are on this. It's looking uh, it's looking really nice. Um, it's not the easiest to do because all these flowers, there, there is a lot to do. So it's not the simplest build in the world, but if I can show this big flower on the back as well. So you can see put the wings on now. We've got this lovely big uh, flower on the back here. It's looking lovely. I mean, it's looking, it is looking very impressive. Um, and I can't wait to see this finished. But um, again, there are hundreds of flowers to make spot on this, so be aware of that one going in. Um, but let's uh, let's get back before done. Let's get this finished. So here we are now, complete. And what a beautiful thing. Look how gorgeous this is. Now we've got the eyes on and the, the ears up here. This is absolutely stunning. This is absolutely stunning. The detail in this is ridiculous. I mean, you can see how many flowers. There are hundreds of flowers on this thing. It looks beautiful. It just does. And spectacular look what the flat did it's everywhere you look you see some different flowers and it's stunning it's really nice um it's a challenging build but it is worth it when you kind of see the finished product it's uh it's a gorgeous thing it's complicated but worth it um it's definitely worth your time let's have a chat so that is the silver botanical owl complete now it's big i mean this is the thing sometimes you, you don't really get you appreciate the scale um, when it's uh, it's just on the desk. But if I can show you next to me, you get an idea of just how big this thing is. It's it's big, it's beautiful, it's really clever. Um, it's a very unique build. I've never built one like this and it is complex. So don't look at it and think, oh, well, that'll be easy. 
it's not easy, but I wouldn't say it's hard either. I mean, this is a strange thing you can see in there. Um, it's a challenge is what it is. So if you are looking for something from your brick set that'll give you something more than something you just switch off and just thunder through it, something that is actually going to engage the brain, I recommend it um, because that's exactly what it did for me. Rather than just, well, I mean, with other brick sets that I've done, some of them I can just I can just disengage brain and sit there doing it. This one I had to think. I had to use, you know, the grey matter I had to be going. And it's a challenge, but a good challenge. Not like an impossible challenge, a challenge where it's like, this is rewarding. At the end of it, when you see what you've achieved, it's great. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. And it looks great. I mean, it looks fantastic. The colour on this one as well. I mean, the amount of colour that's popping off this. We do kind of get with, with brick models as well, a lot of the time that the colour's quite limited. Not this one. I mean, this one is is very, very vibrant. You can see all the different colours going on with this. Gorgeous thing. Um, again, I think as, as a STEM toy as well, I think if you were going to do this with kids, I think they'd really get a kick out of it. Um, because again, there, there is challenge to it. So a lot of the, um, the base of this is Technic bricks. So you are using a lot of pins and, and cogs and whatnot to hold it together. And the base is very cleverly done. Um, it takes a lot of work. This is not a quick build. Now the video is condensed down because you'll see in the result of each bag, but this has took hours to build, absolutely hours. Um, but fun hours. It wasn't a frustrating build by any means. It was a challenge, but it wasn't frustrating. So if you're looking for that, if you're looking for something that is more than just a switch off and go for it, something that's actually going to engage you, something that's going to keep your uh, your attention, this is a good one. This is a very, very good one. Um, I've never built one from Silver before. This is the first one I've done from them, but um, I'm impressed. The, the clutch of the bricks is good. I mean, we did have the one brick that looks like it's come out of mold badly, but that's, it happens. It's not, it's, it hasn't affected the model. The model still goes together perfectly, perfectly fine. Um, and I think I was just unlucky. But um, the clutch of the bricks is good. The quality of the bricks is good. There's no sprue marks or anything like that. It looks good. The other thing that comes with this as well, I nearly forgot to show you this, is it comes with a gift card. And I think this is, again, I've never seen this before. So you've got this lovely envelope and this gift card as well, this thank you card. Um, so you could either build this and gift it to somebody, or you could take this card out of the box. You could gift this to someone. I think that's a lovely touch. That's really nice. My Father's Day coming up. Why not? Um, this one retails 45.99 GBP on Amazon. So you can get this one on Amazon. And the people at Silver have very kindly uh, given me a 15% discount code I can share with all of you. So if you go to the link below, uh, you will find a link to the Amazon site where you can get this one and you can get a very nice 15% off. Can't be bad, can it? Um, it's it's a good one. I recommend it. I do. Be aware, as I said, it's it's a challenge, um, but that's a good thing. You know, it, it's if you want to build something that is is rewarding, but it, it's really going to engage you. I think this is great. And this this is one of those unique. I mean, there are there are a lot of small pieces to this, but it looks beautiful. The the pale's good. There's some clever parts as well. Some of these flowers you can see were originally pirate hats and they've they've colored them differently. So it's very clever how it all works and where the bits go, but it looks magnificent. It really does. I'd like to see more in this range. I would I'm hoping the owl isn't it. I'm hoping there are other botanicals. Um I'd like to see a lizard or something like that, or or maybe a squirrel or I'd like to see a forest range. I think this is this is a lot of fun. Um, but it's a good one. It's a really good one. So check them out. I mean, again, I've I've not built anything from them before. So this was this was a, a good introduction, a, a very good one. Um but check it out. I mean, as I said, it's it's in the link down below. You can go over and see for yourself. But this is a fun build, and this is one that's gonna it's gonna be a good afternoon's build, this one, because it, it took me, as I said, hours. You what you'll see in the video is I've built this bag, it's done. But each bag took at least an hour, um, but a good hour, you know, a good hour you're engaged. And as I said, if you were doing this for kids as well, they get a big kick out of this. So it'd be a nice kind of family project you could do as a STEM toy, as something that can engage them. It's good. And also, it's, it's nice to have a spotter there with you because I made a couple of mistakes. Um, it would be nice to have someone with you, particularly kidding you've done that wrong, Dad. You know, it would be good. Um, that's all from me. Uh, as I said, link down below where you can get your own. Uh, for full clarity, this was sent to us by Silbert, but if I didn't like it, I'd say I didn't like it, but I do. I genuinely think this is a beautiful one. You can see if you, you can see for yourself. This is, it's gorgeous, right? It's not just me saying this. Uh, you can see. 
This is beautiful. This is absolutely stunning. You can see, look at the wings. Look at that. <laughs> um, that's all from me. Uh, you can contact us at Bill and the Boys at Outlook.com. Uh, we'd love to hear from you with any questions or any queries, anything that you have, um, any suggestions. We'd, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, we'll be back very soon with more from Bill and the Boys, but in a world where you can be anything at all, just be nice. And I'll see you very soon for more builds and more fun. Take care and I'll see you soon.